y'all it's your girl mo of all things mo l welcome back to my channel so if you caught my last video then you know that i was able to get my hands on the new new from camille rose their black castor oil and shea bay collection was released black friday and i did pick some up even though i said i wouldn't buy nothing for black friday when they dropped this i had to get it so in my last video i reviewed the cleanser and the deep conditioner from that collection if you have not seen it first of all why but I will leave it linked in the cards for you to check it out. But for today, I'm going to be testing the styler from that collection. This is their Black Castor Oil and Shea Bay Buttercream Strengthening Texture Butter. And I actually decided to turn this into a little battle because I had another um, styler from Camille Rose that's just been sitting in my collection. I have not used it, although I have had it for months. And I decided, let's turn this into a little battle. So I'm going to be comparing this product with Camille Rose's Honeycomb Curl Whip texture defining super cream and we are going to be doing a I think I'm going to do a tweed out today so if you're interested in seeing these two products in action then just keep on watching but of course before we get into it I would love to have you as part of the Moellian fam so please go down below and hit that subscribe button and while you're down there hit the notification bell so that you will not miss when I post new uploads so this product claims to be a rich oil cream butter crafted to restore moisture for thicker textures and set styles in place it could be used to moisturize the hair and set braids, twist, and bantu knots. And then this one is a defining super cream infused with honey and nettle, crafted to boost shine, eliminate frizz, and hold styles into place. And for this one, you can also use it to moisturize and set braids, twists, and bantu knots. So since you use these for the same purposes, I figured that they would be good to compare and contrast against each other. So my hair has been freshly washed and deep conditioned. I also went ahead and applied a leave-in conditioner. And for today's leave-in, I just decided to keep it in the Camille Rose fam. And I used the Honey Hydrate leave-in from the leave-in collection. This is one of my all-time favorite leave-in conditioners. So I think I will use this product on this half of my head and I will use this one on this half of my head. This is what my hair is looking like with just the leave-in in there. And if my hair looks shorter, by the way, it's because I have been snip snipping. <laughs> Your girl has been scissor happy these last few wash days and I have just been snipping my hair. I honestly want to do a big chop because I just... I'm tired of my hair if I'm being 100% honest, but I figured until I work my way up to a big chop, I'm just going to snip snip um, as I go. So that's what I've been doing and that's why my hair might look a little shorter. All right, so let's open her up. As far as the smell, the smell of this collection actually reminds me of like some old school hair products. I don't know which ones, but yeah. It's not my favorite smell, but it's not a terrible smell, so it's bearable. So as you can see, very thick, but it feels very buttery and creamy in my fingers. I'm gonna put a little bit more just to make sure that all my strands are coated. Feels really moisturizing on my hair so far. All right, that is the first one. <clears throat> So I'm literally going to just complete this side of my head. I'll fast forward that a little bit and then I'll come back when it is time to bust this one out for this side of my head. So stay tuned. So this one smells kind of like icing. It 
So I can immediately tell that it is not quite as moisturizing as the black castor oil and Shea Bay buttercream. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. As you guys remember, I used the black castor oil in Shea Bay buttercream on this side of my head. And this is what we're working with. And I used the honeycomb curl whip on this side. So, what do y'all think? Like, as far as how my hair looks, I think I do notice a tad more frizz on this side, but both sides still look really good to me. Um, I felt like when I was applying this product, it was going to be more moisturizing than this one, but honestly, my entire head is super moisturized right now. Like, I know y'all can see that shine but it's because of the moisture in both of these products. Like my hair just feels very moisturized. Y'all see that gray hair right up? Mm. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Like I said, I do feel like I have a little more definition on this side than I do on this side, but both sides look really good. My hair feels amazing. I, I try not to go crazy with the separating and the fluffing because I need this style to last for the rest of the week. Y'all, my hair feels so soft. Like it just feels really good. Like I honestly enjoyed using both of these. I feel like I liked the application of this one a little better only because like I said, I, it felt more moisturizing. So it just felt better going into my 
hair but honestly as far as the performance as far as the results I feel like they pretty much perform the same now there are some differences in the ingredients so I will be sure to have the ingredients listed in the description box for you to go and peruse at your discretion but um, I like both of these and I would continue to use both of these as far as repurchasing it just depends I have so many twisting creams and butters if I needed another twisting cream or butter then yes I would pick both of these up but for right now I don't think they would be a repurchase just because I have so many that I need to get through but if I didn't have any in my collection and I was looking for um, a twisting cream or butter then I would easily pick up either of these I purchased this one from the website it was ten dollars when I got it um, but I will leave the regular price in the description box. This one I picked up from Walmart and I do not remember how much it costs, but I will also leave the price in the description box as well. But yeah, I like both of these twisting creams. They both did exactly what I needed them to do for this tweed out and I'm pleased with the results. So the only other product that I got from that collection, from that Shea Bay and Castor collection, was this um, Repair Pure Strengthening Oil. And honestly, I think this is something that I could have gone without. This is something that you're supposed to apply to your scalp, not necessarily use throughout your head. You're supposed to use two to three drops and massage it gently into the scalp and edges. Apply twice, two times a day for a noticeable difference in growth and thickness. Follow with your favorite Camille Rose styling product. So I probably will just start using this on my edges just because y'all know. I do have thin edges and I'm always looking for something to use to strengthen those so I will be using this and then giving my final re my final thoughts on this product like in an empties video later down the road honestly if you have something that you already use for uh hair thickening if you already have a product that you like to use for your edges this is a product that can be skipped honestly so mm, mm, yeah <laughs> So that pretty much sums up my thoughts on these two products and how they performed in my hair. Now I'm interested in knowing, have you guys ever tried this? This one has been out for a while. I believe it came out um, Black Friday 2020. So this one has been out for a while. So I want to know if you've tried this one. Also want to know if you were able to get your hands on this one. If not, would you try either of these? Let's chat about it in the comment section below. That's all I have for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, Give your girl a thumbs up because those really do help my channel out a lot. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.